Good morning. How y'all doing out there? All praises go to Yahshua HaMashiach and the Most High. No, I come with a message because it's something that I've been thinking about. And it makes a lot of sense when you really think about it because the title of the video is the tree of life, tree of knowledge and the tree of life. Which one are you eating from? Because we have been conditioned to be not believing in the spirit that we live in the carnal. And we bear fruits of the tree of knowledge, which is man good and man bad. And the fruits that we bear are the fruits that's not of the spirit that Adam lost when he ate from the tree, him and Eve. They lost the spiritual connection to the Most High. They lost the right to be in the presence of the Most High. That's why if you read in Genesis, he say after they ate and he told the angel to kick them out the garden unless they eat from the tree of life and they live forever. Know what I mean? So once they ate from the tree of knowledge, they became dead spiritually. When the Bible talk about death, it don't mean physical death. It was talking spiritual. Because if you understand scripture, Adam actually lived to be like 900 something years old after he ate from the tree. So we know it's not talking about a physical death. So we know it's talking about a spiritual death. And we know what Adam lost him and Eve that the Messiah tried to restore and that's the spiritual connection that we all are seeking today. And you can tell because the first time after they ate from the tree and their eyes was open and the Most High came upon them and asked them where they was at and he said that they hid themselves because they was naked and then he asked them, well, how do you know you're naked? And what he did, the first thing he did was snitched on the woman, said it was the woman that you gave me, that brought me the fruit and I did eat, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. And that's from the tree of knowledge. And that's what you get. You get selfishness. You get murder. You get weapons of destruction. You know what I mean? You get death. You know what I mean? Physical and spiritual death. You know what I mean? You lose the connection of the most high. Now you got diseases in your life. Now you got alcohol. Now you don't sprung out on drugs. You got stress in your life. You know what I mean? All these things that we think are positive to our culture, which we have been learning through school and through all type of different levels of education is carnal way of living in the physical because a lot of this stuff that we lost on the spiritual is hard to find. This is why we battle with what we do because we live in the physical state instead of living in the spiritual journey. And when you talk about the tree of life, that's the spirit of the most high. That's the Rukak HaKadesh. That's what gives us the life eternally. That's eternal life. That's the eternal peace. That's joy. That's happiness. Because when I live for the most high, I live for him. That means I'm able to have an unconditional love. That means I'm able to allow you to come in my life and you can hurt me, but that's okay because while my trust is not in human beings, it's in the most high. So I don't live to please people. I live to please him. So what I do for you is what I do for myself is what I do to get blessed by him. I don't need to boast. I don't need to walk around and try to act like something I'm not. No, this is a genuine love that we have. That's why the family concept of father and son and the whole Hebrew and everything, it's a concept of family because we share unconditional love that only through the most high can we do this because it, eating from the tree of knowledge, you cannot love somebody without the, and have them making mistakes in your life. And we go through this all the time. Somebody do you wrong, the first thing you're going to do is depend on how wrong they do you you gonna get upset and you gonna cut them off or you can end up fighting and stuff like that but see when we had that spiritual love that type of thinking and that type of attacks on us don't hurt us because we don't live for that we live for the spiritual we live for the inner peace we live for the joy you know what i mean and that's what we have 
to able to walk around and see the fruits of the labor of what you produce. This is why Yahshua speaks about fruits and, and everything because it's what you bear, it's how you live, it's how you treat people. Those are the fruits that we look for to see if you eat in front of the tree of knowledge or you eat in front of the tree of life. Now, which one are you eating? You know what I mean? So it's all about, you know what I mean, not being confused and understanding the scriptures to actually understand what we are doing. Because if we stay in their physical mindset, eat in front of the tree of knowledge, this is why we in the state we is today. You could say, yeah, guns is good to protect yourself. But if we didn't eat from the tree of knowledge, you wouldn't need a gun in the first place. See, that's what I'm saying. So even though all this stuff and then you got to think too about what the tree of knowledge do. The tree of knowledge make you feel like you are God. You know what I mean? This is what people doing. You know what I mean? You are God, so you don't need God because you're good. And when you're good, you don't any, need anything. This is why the, Yahshua told them in the scripture that it's, it, you, it's easier for you to get a, a camel through the hole of a needle than the rich man to get into heaven. Because when you have everything and you can buy anything you want or get whatever you need, you don't need the most high for anything. You know, why do I need to search for God when I got everything in the first place? And that's what I'm saying. And this mindset, especially with this new age movement, is trying to make people feel like they are God. So you don't need God because you're eating from the tree of knowledge instead of eating from the tree of life and humbling yourself. And then we the one looking crazy, but you the one going to, you the one sprung out on drugs. You the one raping people. You the one killing. You the one out here stealing from people. You the one breaking in people's houses, hurting people. You the one stealing from different cultures. You the one going around mass murdering people. But I'm wrong for believing in the Messiah and in the higher being that give me peace and teach me to love everybody and not try to destroy life or to appreciate life and to appreciate death and to appreciate living and to walk in the inner light with an inner happiness and joy that this world cannot give me. You can't get that from the tree of knowledge. But I'm the one crazy because I choose to walk down a narrow right path because I want to live for a higher purpose. I want to do the will of my Elohim. I don't want to live for the way of the world. You know what I mean? I want to be set apart. You know what I mean? And because of the fact that we've been conditioned to believe certain things in America, we are not able to grasp the concepts the same way the Hebrew Hebrew like in the Old Testament wasn't able to grab the concept of the Messiah because he wasn't talking about physical carnal knowledge. He was talking about spiritual tree of life on how to get your spirit to live and not get it condemned and die. That's what this is all about. All this Yahshua whole purpose was to save your soul, your spirit. The things that Adam lost from eating from the tree of knowledge, that's what he's come to do. And when you bow down and accept this purpose and you accept this, man, it will give you a greater purpose, man, because there's nothing greater, man, than walking out here and able to love and give to somebody no matter who you are. Your behavior do not dictate the way I choose to give. If I give to somebody, I give from my heart because that's what I want to do because I want my blessings from my Elohim. You don't have nothing to do with that at all. You're just the reciprocate of my blessing that I choose to give at that particular time. But nobody affect how I choose to do or handle with people. You know what I mean? I don't deal with that. I don't do that at all. And I think if we continue to walk down this path of tree of knowledge, that's the road of destruction, man. We've been taught all these things they teach us in school supposed to make us happy, but still you got people more sadder than ever in this world. Why? Because they not taught the right things. Education is not the key to happiness, man. Happiness is, is something that is all about you. You got to find this stuff. And eating from the tree of knowledge is going to keep making you being selfish. This is why your relationships don't work. Because everybody looking out for themselves the same way Adam looked out for himself when he told on Eve. 
after he ate the fruit instead of him being the man and take responsibility for his own action. Because if you actually read scripture, he got cursed for disobeying the most high. He didn't get cursed for eating the fruit. He got cursed because he listened to the woman instead of listening to the most high when the most high was with him before the woman created, walking with Adam in the cool of the day. So they was in the presence of the most high. They was with him because they had that spiritual connection that allowed them to be in the presence of the most high but once they ate from the tree of knowledge they lost that they lost it that's why they had to get out the guard and he also kicked them out because they ate from the tree of life they left I mean the tree of life yeah the tree of life they left forever you know what i mean this is what we're doing now we're eating from the tree of life so we can have an eternal peace and eternal salvation and live for our elohim in this next journey in this next chapter once this physical pass away you know what I mean? I do a lot of research. You can believe whatever you want to believe. But only through the Wukaka Kadesh and the blood of the Messiah can we be made righteous in the eyes of the Most High. And that's the whole thing about it. Without this, you cannot stand in the presence of God. You will surely die. That's why he told Moses, you cannot see my presence, but you can see the back of me. Because if you see the front of me, your sin that's inside you, I will I, you'll die because you can't stand your right you don't have the righteousness to stand in the presence of the most high his presence will kill you and this happened through the old testament plenty of time if you read it you know what i mean so we now with yashua we able to stand in front of him and able to do that because through his blood and the root kahakadesh the holy spirit that we receive by eating from the tree of life and not eating from the tree of knowledge anymore so I just wanted to address that, you know what I mean? May y'all have a blessed day and continue to walk in righteousness and peace and happiness, man. Deuces.